why are you leaving and, and why did you leave the way that you left? Well, um, my doctor uh, told me that I was a walking heart attack and uh, when I was on vacation in California this last December, my body was telling me the same thing. And so I decided at that point I'd, I'd pay attention and um, change my course in life and reduce the stress and concentrate on a healthy lifestyle and my family and business and such as that. And so, I, you know, I just made a decision. I had, and I thought, uh, I actually was talked into running again anyway, and my heart wasn't in it. And I thought, uh, you know, for the sake of the people who depend on good representation, it would be good for them to have a happy and healthy representative rather than someone who wasn't feeling well and maybe didn't want to be there that uh, with that much passion. I should have retired two weeks earlier uh, so that the voters could have a primary election with a whole new slate of candidates. Uh, uh, and that was my mistake and I regret it, but um, it worked out. Uh, my main objective after I decided to retire was to make sure the people had the opportunity to choose their uh, senator rather than the county chairs of any particular party. So uh, we worked it in a way that um, uh, the people got to vote, and they got to vote a lot. Uh, it is more partisan today than it was um, 17 years ago when I got elected. Pretty much uh, back in the day, um, after the elections, folks would put their swords down and they would, for the most part, work together. I mean, there's always haggling, there's always somebody who wants to stir things up and fuss. But uh, pretty much the members respected each other's uh, territory at that time. Members didn't go after other members in their reelection efforts. And we see that today, which is in, on the House side. State government in particular, where my experience is, is a very slow moving process and uh, you know one of my biggest frustrations and disappointments maybe regret is that uh, we did not find a permanent source of funding for water infrastructure for the state water plan uh, in my tenure in my tenure in the Senate that was something that I worked on every session and last session we were oh so close but <clears throat> there were just a couple of pieces of the puzzle that, that just weren't willing to do that yet facing a, an election year so uh, we'll have to wait a little while longer, and I hope someone will pick up that mantle and get the job done. I was not an expert when I uh, came in. I, I, <coughs> I got there by necessity. The biggest issue in my district back home was a water issue, and that's how I got engaged in the, in the, the water fights. And, um, uh, and then when I got the chair of natural resources, the air was a big issue, and you just have to get in there and you just have to learn it. And uh, somebody is going to do that. Um, it's too important, and there will be too many people coming to Austin to look for help in that regard. For somebody to not pick it up and run with it, um, <clears throat> maybe maybe not so dramatic this coming session. It's going to be ugly anyway. Uh, but you know, in the future, there'll be somebody there that can do it. That nobody's indispensable, and uh, there's always a new and better way to find t ways to get things done. Mm -hmm. They're all going to do fine. It's going to be an extremely tough session this next time around, but uh, they'll work together in the Senate, and uh, I expect under Speaker Strauss they're going to do fine over there as well.